Okay, let's start it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a guest. Wait, let's start again. Sorry. <laughs> No, no, it's not ready. I don't be. I don't be. You are your you friend. Hi, I guys. Be. All right. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome to Hi, my people. channel. This is Chamaka Long Hair. <laughs> so she's tying her hair. The so that, that you will not see her long hair. I have. <laughs> apart from my hair, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, today we are talking about secondary school. We're in the same secondary school. We're in the oh, same dude. class in SS1. Yeah. So we're talking about our secondary school experience. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Welcome back. Yeah, so if you're new to the channel, you're very much welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, a village person, thank you so much for your support. Yes, now. Nah. You are village people here. <laughs> <laughs> She's a village person because she's a oh, subscriber. How can, how can I'm not village? No, it's not. It's not. It's our community. Community. It's a, co a community of the Nigeria, average the average Nigeria, Nigeria people. Girls. Okay, 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 so, okay. It's the average Nigeria people community. That's why we call our people ourselves our village. So today we're talking about our secondary school. Went to Federal Government College in Ugu. Probably you take the your. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start with um, our secondary school was very interesting. Mm. It was yeah, very very interesting. It was quite the ride, <laughs> seriously. So uh, we just picked out different things to talk about so that the video is not so long. We actually filmed this video yesterday, but it was raining and it was dark, so we're having to do it again. The things we do for you too. I do you fine. owe me, like you owe me big time, seriously. Yeah. For Don't the, worry, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll right. hurry out. I'll <laughs> hurry. <laughs> Okay, so, so uh, the first thing we're talking about is the social stratification in yes, school. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's a very very big issue. Like it's so salient that when you come, you don't even know that you've already been you know placed in a particular group. And most of us, when you come in, I mean, we don't even we are unaware. It's just like young adults, you're just coming into school to make friends and to study, and the next thing. Somebody tells you these are the kind of friends you should have. These are not the kind of friends you should not roll with. Or if you try to follow a group of people and they try to like you know stigmatize you, probably because of the way you dress or because of the kind of background you have. So it's actually a very big issue in school. Yeah, guys in our school, let me give you the social strata. There are the people who are intelligent, like people who come first, second, third in class. Yes. There are the people who have money. <laughs> <laughs> the popular girls slash guys for our sets was spice girls yes 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 that's what, what i call them i think they call them um you see here i know they say g g boys i don't know, I don't know but they, the guys I still had their own oh, group yeah then there were the wannabes like people who were not really popular but they were Trying close to, to mm -hmm. you know then there were people like me that were invisible. People like us. <laughs> that were invisible. <laughs> that were invisible. Nobody knew us in school. Nobody cared about us. Okay, our friends. No, cared we had people us, that right? cared about us. Our it friends cared about us. But the rest of the school did not care about us. Like we were just seeing yesterday and I was saying that I met one of the popular girls one time and then she called me by name and I was like, so you knew my name in school? Like I was guys, I was surprised. Like, I was like, you knew, you actually knew my name in school. But these are people that, when we're in secondary school, they see you on the road. Like, they won't behave as if they know who you are or you go to the same school, things like that. So, yeah, the social stratification was just too much. You know, all those high school movies. That's how our secondary school was. It was not even funny. Like, you, yes, let me give you an example of the kind of thing that happened. When just two. And so, guys, yeah, we just, a new girl just moved into our class. And she was really pretty. And then she had um, this brown eyes that were really eye-catching And then her mom was a teacher Because part of the social stratification thing If your mom was a teacher, yeah. it could help you become even more yeah. popular yeah. So, one of the popular girls now called her And told me and my friend that we should shift away See, eh, if they tell you to shift away, you just shift <laughs> away Like, you don't have an option We shifted away and then she now told the girl That she's too... And uh, she's too beautiful to hang out with people like us. 
<laughs> oh god fine girl like me <laughs> but shall that time we're not really that fine we're cutting hair and we're wearing oh, big what can you say we're fine in our own way okay yeah. we, were, we were fine inside uh, we had inner beauty uh, so we're still also cutting my hair we're wearing big shirt and red skirt now we're coming to dress so we'll explain it to you and then she was told that okay don't hang out with them, that is are not the kind of people that you hang out with. That tells you how people are class. Like once you come in, certain things are used to determine where you're supposed to be. So it's not like you can just make, you can't make friends across board. You hang out with your own kind of people. I'm not saying that's bad, but it kind of makes you feel like inferior to those popular girls and mm. things like that as if you're not, because somehow they make you feel like you're not good enough for them. Yeah. So you feel so, hey. When will I be this popular? You know how secondary school is now. You shall want to belong. Is that way we life? You want to belong. You want to be part of the happening things. But in federal, you know, you were not just allowed to because you exactly. wanted to. Exactly. You had to meet up certain criteria before to be able to. You know, remember people had to. What can you do? Okay. okay, now let's talk about the dressing. Guys, our yeah. secondary school the uniform dressing. is white and then a red skirt. Yeah. But you know that it's we red. can. Maroon red, yes, yeah, Maroon but the red, one that yeah. the school gives you is actually bright yes, red. Yes, yes, I remember. The one they gave me in the one was it's bright red. red. Yes, that's but true. But the color of the school is Maroon red. But if you were popular, if you were happening, you had to wear purple skirts. It was contraband though, but you just had to wear purple skirts. And then there was this thing that you had to wear um shapen clothes, like your clothes true, had to be tight. True, okay, true. like when I came, I came to Fedra in just one second time. I did not know now. Just one girl. You see, when you, you know when you're in just one, like the mark of just one people is that you wear your big shirt true. and your big skirt true. and, and then your socks is like so a very long, you know. Talk about ankle socks. Ankle socks. <laughs> like you have to wear ankle socks. So you have to wear a specific type of okay shoes. Yes. Yeah. Me, I was wearing sandals. rubber sandals. I was wearing my big those big ones. <laughs> I was wearing my big this thing, my big shirt. That was how because I was hanging out when I came into secondary school. I came in second term. Some people in my primary school were also in the same school. So I was hanging out with them. So one of the people in the group now called me and told me that scene that I can't be wearing this kind of clothes. The problem was that I didn't understand what was wrong with my clothes. They were like, no, that is too big. And I didn't know how to tell my mother that uh, mommy, my clothes is too big, you know, that I have to adjust it. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> so you understand? So uh, eventually I found someone that will be wearing big clothes together. Although by the time you get to dress two and you're now sewing your own uniform, mm. you na- they will now make it according to your size and everything mm. like that. So I go and call it Sha. Yeah, it's true. And I think um that dressing is also a way of, you know, like um a method that they use in placing people in different groups. Like once you come inside school and you're dressed a certain way, you're automatically placed in a group. If you're like those that wear big skirts, big um um big blouses, it's either you belong to the nerd group or you are those that you know the um, anonymous <laughs> knowns, <laughs> invisible people. Invisible. So for you yeah. to actually leave that group or maybe join the spies group or wannabes, you have to actually you know sh- tight like wear tight shirts. Then your your skirt has to be purple, yeah. not necessarily long, just a little bit above the knee. Yeah. Then you have to wear ankle socks, yeah. and then your sandals has to be on point. Like, like so sh- you know. Sh- let's go to the academics. Me and Jamaica were in the same. SS1 class and we're in science class and <laughs> we are just there doing physics guys we had a teacher a physics teacher this was he was yeah. actually teaching us SS2 stuff you remember yeah. but I think it was even PhD remember that first test that people when we came for the first test that this thing corridor test now yes that we were not saying class. what is power what is energy yes, yes. we're not like which one is power? Which one is that? Because I'm like the first part of physics in SS1. When I'm a cramming power in the morning, I remember you were the one that came to me and told me that, that all what other people are doing is power and energy. I was asking you that that's not what they taught us now. Because <laughs> the, the entire career test, that was like the first test in school, is the same questions it's for everybody. Classes, yeah. So our class were now struggling. Like, if she did not tell me now, Zera for fact that day, like, it wasn't even yeah. funny. Our teacher was not using the syllables. I'm telling you, he was, he was doing his own thing. Exactly. Like, 
So in the morning you were just saying poise, poise, and then she the things I wrote in that test, Jesus Christ. Like and then when he now gives us class tests, you remember when he will be instead of giving us the formula, he will derive it. True. Then at some point he will get confused. He will True. now clean it. Like he won't clean everything and start again. He will clean half and start you will not be wondering like what is what is actually going, actually going on? You can't even try to correct him. You, know? you cannot <laughs> yeah, make no. that mistake to correct him because ah god, he will change it for you. I think he actually tried to throw calculator on somebody. He 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 threw people. He yes. he kicked people out, out of the class. class true. No, I'm not saying kicked as in get out of my class. I mean literally kick him, right? people out of the class because there are some really smart people that could detect when he makes true. a mistake. Mm-hmm. So someone mistakenly told him, "Excuse me, sir, I think this one," <laughs> and he was like, "Are you mad? Get out." Then I think then we, we went to report him. Okay, no, you were no longer in class. In SS2, you were still with us. So we went to report him to VP card that we don't want him again, that he's, we don't understand what he's teaching. He now came into class, he was angry. He was like, that no one of us would be better than him in this life. He shouted, God for me. He now said right? that we should all kneel down. He was not like that. No one of us, we, anytime he said that we shouted, God for me. Because you can't tell me that I'll not be better than you. You were trying, you spent a season and says to confusing me. Mm-hmm. And you're not telling me that I'll never be better than you. Why would I say God forbid? We served the punishment, but we shall shout that the God forbid. So, but we also had some really good teachers. Yes, we had very we good We still have had some very, very good teachers. I can't remember our, our math teacher in SS. That's, so that's remember, Mrs. That, Edura. That woman is that a woman blessing. Is a blessing. They finally moved her to a DGC officer. Yes, yes, well, I remember. Yes, yes, Many people, if you went to Federal Government College in Lugo, and if Mrs. Federal has taught you, you know what we are talking about. Like, she not only teaches you math, yeah. she even believes in you, she encourages you. She yeah. be like, ah, you're supposed to understand this. This is how you're supposed Do you get? Like, she, she even she pays attention to the weak students. Exactly. Like, if you're yeah. not doing so exactly. well, she pays particular. She doesn't just, you know, we have some teachers that used to glorify the strong ones. Yes. They essentially, especially for that math teachers, <clears throat> let's not call names. They essentially glorify the, they used to teach only the people who understood what they were saying. The rest of us were on our own. But this woman actually took out time. She would encourage you as a strong person if you were doing well. But then also if you were not doing so well, she would pay particular attention to make sure you were following the school. So for something, the federal government college had some really good Good teachers. The third thing we are going to talk about is school relationships. Guys. Well, um, it's it was very very common. I think it was even right from Genesis one. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Where we used to like feel like all these long books where you write your most admired boy and most admired girls. So people actually have already started, you know, like being able to speak about their feelings if they have feelings for someone to talk tell the person yeah. oh, see that I actually have feelings for you as 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 as. Yes, as even as far as Jess one, yes, yeah. I think I just like 10, 11, yeah, like that, like that. from that Jess one, and even Valentine's Day, so people actually do get Valentine gifts. Well, so of course, <laughs> did not <laughs> even understand. <laughs> like when I was, I did not understand <laughs> what was yes, even <laughs> actually going on. Like I think just get it. <laughs> because I don't know maybe because I came from my school, my primary, my primary school was. Not, Good, it was very mm. standard, but we're not such people. It wasn't in private school and things like that. So I guess we're around all these ah, this person is chiking this person, and this person is tripping yeah. for this person. I'm like, okay, interesting. And like, for people had their boyfriends and things like that. But you know, if you're invisible in school, <laughs> nobody is actually allowed to look at you. That's <laughs> the truth. Like even if someone admired you, if you're part of the invisibility people, people should not talk to you. Cause if like a popular boy actually talks to you, or a popular girl talks to you, well, it will raise up your rep share. Cause people now be like, ah, what is it about this girl uh, uh, that yeah. uh, that this popular guy? It sort of raised your social status yeah. if they talk to you. But most times they usually don't do that. So yeah, school relationships. <laughs> Like or another, uh, and the very peculiar thing is that most of these relationships don't last. Yeah, like, you just be like, oh, this person, oh, they are no longer together. She's now with another person. Oh, they are no longer. He's now with another person, and like, they even caught some people yeah. making out while they in school. School relationships were like an entire gist. It even got to an extent that they now placed a rule in school 
Then they say that no boy and a girl were allowed to hold hands. I don't know if you remember. I think yeah, I do. Then well, that one was story. But <laughs> I remember the first time I got culture shock in school was when SS two. I went for literature class and the teacher had not come. You know, I was in science um, class, but I was still doing literature, so I had to take it with the art students. Mm -hmm. So I went for literature class and I saw two people kissing in front of the at the back of the class. And you know, like people were just making noise as if the whole thing was normal. Like I was feeling flushed as I was standing because I did not understand how is this yeah. normal and nobody in the class saw it as anything, you know. And I just carried my bag. I left. Like I couldn't. I just could not stay. I just felt really uncomfortable. I think all of us were doing something wrong at the same time at this point. It was normal though in our second. Oh, Jesus, where I go back your late chat. So I think the last thing we're going to talk about is um recommendations you know to parents and um, elder ones i'll allow you to go first okay um first of all um i think that's you know because of what we have all gone through like i have friends that you know quiet even they didn't even affect their studies just because um they were not accepted um to a particular group or because of the stigma they had to face maybe because of the way they dressed and um, the kind of uh, friends they had you get so but and it's very funny that while all this was happening none of us even tried to uh, involve our parents yeah. into it. so i think parents if we eventually become you know of course we're going to be parents so yeah. that we should actually try to be involved in our children's life or maybe if you have younger brothers and sisters you know try to know what kind of friends they have what is happening in their secondary school you can try to let them know that whatever it is that's not the end of the world because yeah. when you're in secondary school you feel that that is that is it. Yeah. Do you get? If anything happens to you, tend to magnify it. Oh God, I'm dead. I think I'm going to do it. But that's not how it is. So, um, I think um, you can say something. Adam. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of things go on in secondary school. See, your if you have siblings, uh, like in secondary school, or if you're a parent, try to find out. Really, try to find out what's going on. Things are not okay. Especially if you went to a school like ours, and you know many Nigerian schools have been influenced by all these high school moves and things. So it's not just happening in our school; it's happening, I believe, in so many other schools. See, but I try to find out. I'll give you an example between me and my younger sister. My younger sister eventually went to Federal Government College by SS1. She came in SS1, but she was very close to my mom. I was close to my mother, but somehow I was just afraid of her. But my younger sister now had that problem. Every matter that happened to her in school, she brought it home. That's the way to go. You understand? And she. She had a good time. Nobody was able to oppress her because she used to tell all of us what was happening. But me, I used to keep my own inside my heart and just be carrying it alone. And because I was always smiling and not saying anything, everybody thought everything was okay. But I was I went through a lot of emotional wasbos. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. It's it's true, it's true. And I had nobody to talk to. I was talking to my fellow friends mm. that all of us are going through the same issues i was talking to anybody elderly so if you're an elder sister or an elder brother and you're watching these things see find out from your younger on secondary school what is happening with them is somebody oppressing them is somebody making them feel bad and then if you're in a place where someone is making you feel smaller than yourself see one of the things i'm grateful for in fedra is that fedra has given me thick skin nobody in this life can make me feel small <laughs> no, I'm serious. You cannot make me feel inferior. Being there, done that. Like, I spent six years of myself feeling inferior to other people. So by the time I came out and realized that that was just rubbish. Now, I may not have the world, but sure you see this is my small corner of life. I'm very comfortable and happy with this. And you feel like that. See, forget it. Life is not like that. It doesn't begin and end with those people. And then, I think one of the things we're grateful for in secondary school was our group of friends. Yeah. Like for me, Mary Rose, Chindundu, Choma, a lot of other people, DJ Adana, all those girls, they made me feel comfortable. Like, we were invisible, but we were invisible together. <laughs> <laughs> like, they made you feel like family. True. You get So even though you were not visible to the whole school, but you felt you were important to this group of people, you know that these girls are people that would go out of their way yeah. for you. So yeah, so yeah, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. We are grateful. And if you've not subscribed, please not subscribe. subscribe. We'll subscribe. Move our ministry. Click that button. <laughs> it is free. It is free. And then when you're subscribed, you get to know and click the notification button. You get to yeah. know when we post videos and all those kind of stuff. Thank you so much.